Okay, so here's a bit of a switch from bikes and adventure works. This is a world data set. Uh, basically what we're looking at is demographic information that takes a look at life expectancy, average children per woman, uh, GDP, um, and child mortality statistics. So these were this data was gathered from a website called gapminder.org. The data was assembled by a guy called Ran Hans Rosling and he is super passionate about changing the way people think of the world through really interesting, dynamic data visualization. Now you can't see me smiling back here and I wish I could actually do a presentation for you on the board uh, with PowerView that would allow me to gesture and give you these uh, the wild grandstanding things here. But I'll do the best I can here just kind of um, eloquently. The story here is that um, Amir Nets, when he was looking at some of the preliminary designs for PowerView, one of his inspirations for making the data sing and dance in here was the, were these Hans Rosling presentations and what he what he talks about is sort of the effects of family planning, the effects of world conflict, the effects of politics, and how it affects the way that our world is shaped. So what we're looking at here is how life expectancy changes. And if you look here at countries like Timor-Leste on the side, Sierra Leone, and oh, let's catch one of those. Let's stop this. Rwanda was another outlier as well. You can catch the outliers of life expectancy from this bubble graph. And if you look at Rwanda, this is 1994 and the effect of the genocide that it had on the life expectancy in Rwanda and how it really differentiates itself from the rest of the world and especially the rich world in, in Europe, uh, which are all the green dots down here. Um, it's actually shockingly low and I was surprised to see this impact as well. Uh, fortunately, as time passed and the conflict subsided, Rwanda was, did manage to make a, a comeback in life expectancy, which helps when you're not killing young men in a war. Uh, so this is one of the visualizations that you can get out of PowerView that's really powerful and not something that you could do before. Other visualizations that sing and dance. Uh, one thing I was trying to figure out is, well, gee, is there a relationship between you know, GDP per capita and the fertility and the life expectancy and mortality? Are there constant growth rates? Are there patterns? You know, can I see patterns by country? So I tried to do it and actually they're very noisy data sets. So you can't just draw a conclusion from a straightforward growth rate or a path rate. There must be other explanations at play there and that's sometimes it's things like geopolitical events that you just can't put your finger on in data sets like this. Here's another visualization as well and another way to look at data. We've all seen slicers in pivot tables, pivot charts before. Slicers are fine, uh, but they're just words. You know, they don't have pictures associated with them where we can say, hey, if I'm looking at mortality or GDP or fertility, which continent is the leader in this? And we can see consistently here that it's Europe. Europe's always leading in all indicate all major indicators, and Africa, is, I mean, is what you'd expect, is lagging a little bit behind uh, for a developing nation. One thing that I can see here is the outliers in Africa. Just the variation is huge. Uh, so if, on average, there's four and a half children in each family in Africa, for some of the some of the more progressive countries here, it's actually much smaller. Same thing with mortality. You know, a sub 90% uh, survival rate to children for children to age five, but some countries, like the Seychelles, who's a rich country, manage to have those children with the large lifespans as well. So that's something that's really interesting. And one last thing that I'll show you out of this sample is just the contact cards as well. So some of the presentation 
you can have fast facts about the country. So if you are interested in what life expectancy was life in, like in Afghanistan, this is 1971. Average life expectancy, 35 years old. And then we'll be able to see, if we go into 2008, 43 years old. So those world conflicts in Afghanistan, especially in those trouble, trouble zones, really um, reflect themselves and you can see it in the demographic statistics for the country. So have a play with the data set. It's all up on the blog. Have fun with it. Um, see what conclusions you can draw. Cheers.